What's going on guys, it's David here, and I don't know how else to put this, but I'm pretty uh, pretty upset that Nike would had taken such a great shoe uh, with the Nike Free Metcon and turned it into essentially a monstrosity. Um, today we're gonna be taking a quick look at the uh, Nike Free Metcon 3. This is a shoe that literally just came out um, I wasn't really aware that this was gonna be a shoe that was gonna be coming out so soon, um, but based off of the images that we have uh, at the moment, I'm pretty upset. Um, in regards to the complete redesign of the silhouette, granted, uh, every two essential seasons um, of a particular given shoe, um, there will be a redesign. Uh, there's, there's just no question about that. That's just like a normal thing. But in regards to the way that this shoe looks now, it's almost, it almost looks like it's unusable for CrossFit. Um, the whole idea behind the shoe was to kind of have a little bit more of a shoe that's built for running, uh, can handle things like rope climbs and things of that nature. But now I don't even know what this shoe is essentially used for. Um, it still has this Nike free um, outsole, but the heel looks completely different. The heel, it, it almost looks like a, a Walmart, <laughs> a Walmart CrossFit shoe. Um, the colorways are cool uh, that they currently do have at the moment, but the silhouette is garbage. Um, the uh, lace protectors that were on the other shoe or on the other versions, on the version one and version two, have been completely been removed. Um, like I said, the outsole is completely different. The lacing system is different. Um, this is really a shoe that I don't even know I would even want to wear. Um, I'm definitely gonna pick this up to test it out and see what this shoe, how this shoe performs. But based off of how this shoe currently looks, I'm not too stoked on it. Um, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> um, maybe it might be a little bit better for um, lifting. Um, in regards to sort of like the changes that have been that have been made to it, um, it's supposed to have um, more stability. Um, it's supposed to have, uh, I guess, more uh, flexibility. Uh, the heel is wider uh, to be similar to that of the Metcon, but it is a Metcon, so it doesn't really uh, make sense. Um, and it's supposed to have uh, rubber tread for traction. Um, the met like there isn't really sort of like a, a rationale behind what these changes that have been made um i'll leave the full specs in the uh details of this video but i've got to say this is this probably has to be the most the ugliest uh metcon uh to date um i i I'm probably gonna regret wasting my money on this. Um, and I probably wouldn't be surprised if sales decrease because of the shoe, um, because it's not really a good looking shoe. Um, I would be really surprised if a lot of CrossFitters are, are, are buying the shoe. Um, I feel like it's kind of a little bit more now like a, a general shoe, um, but I really like the the the, Metcon, the free Metcon free version one and version two, but I'm not really feeling the version three. This is a definite drop. Do not buy the shoe. Uh, but let me know what your guys' thoughts are down below. Uh, please leave your comments and, and let me know. Is this a shoe that you plan on picking up? Is this a shoe that you don't like? Um, what are your thoughts? Do you think Nike did a great idea? Do you think Nike did a terrible idea with this new silhouette? Uh, I wanna hear your guys' thoughts down below, guys. With that, this is just a quick take on the Nike Free Metcon uh, version three. Uh, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. May your barbells be heavy and your coffee be black. This is David, and I'll catch you guys later.